Norris. Um, you know Miriam? Of course. What does she like? I want to give her a gift. I really do not know. Uh, all right. Let me call on Prudence. She may be of service. Prudence. Good day, Connor. Norris is trying to court a woman. What do you women like in terms of gifts? A nice bunch of wildflowers always brightens my day. Who is it Norris fancies? Best not say for now. Fair enough. Best ones are atop the bluff to the northwest. A bit tricky to get, but they grow large and healthy in the full sun. Yama. Yama. Are you in there? Uh, 
We? Oh. I will find you a little later, then. No, no, it's all right. What is it? Prudence advised a bunch of wild flowers. Really? Are you sure? It doesn't seem right. Yama. Hello, Connor. Norris. How are you? All right. Remember we talked about Miriam? I do. And the cougar she felled. One shot. Confident and precise. Incroyable. I like her. She is a good friend. We all do. Not like that, Connor. Oh. Oh. Well, good for you. Only good for me if she likes me back. She's a strong woman, an independent woman. I admire her. I wish you well in your quest, Norris. I see you are getting along again. Oh, I. <laughs> We're uh, always at each other for one thing or another, but more often than not, we work it out in the end. It's just the thought of my family threatened got me hot under the collar. And? Terry knows he couldn't beat me in a fight. You rat! That's why he built this bold pitch, so he could beat me at something. Still can't, though, can you, Terry? I was winning till Connor came along! Sure you were. That'll do.
do not like to lose. You want to tell him, my love? I'm pregnant. Congratulations. It's been a long time coming. It does present a slight problem, however. There's no doctor for miles. Nice morning. Well, then we should find one. I know of one that may consider moving here. His name is Dr. Lyle White. It's been a turn since we last saw him, but you might try his old house in Boston. Remembering old times, Achilles? Connor. Oh, yes. I suppose I was. Seems like so long ago. Who was the assassin this belonged to? Originally, it was John de la Tours, the first assassin in the colonies. Then it was mine for a time. Ah, uh, the things I've done wearing that armor. Some are uplifting to recall, others very painful indeed. One day, I will hand it over to you, Connor. It is your duty to keep it. It serves as a reminder for how long our Brotherhood has really been here. How long we've been protecting the people of this land. But here I am going on again. I know you appreciate what it is. <laughs> <laughs> 